Other changes in the, uh, the wood industry would be uh, not only in CNC, but in uh, sanding techniques. Uh, again, when uh, high skilled people were required to give a fine finish in sanding, uh, that has been replaced by specialized sanding equipment that today probably give a better finish than uh, what was generally available by, by hand and not only uh, better but more quickly and uh, just like every other industry uh, the wood industry is under pressure to do a, a better job more effectively uh, cut back on, on labor and uh, that is uh, the just-in-time introduction a number of years ago is also very very uh, prominent in the in the wood industry uh, large inventories used to be required for companies selling uh, moldings and things of that nature, whereas today the uh, new uh, machines introduced uh, by uh, molding companies, we happen to represent Michael Weinick, and we know today that it, the possibility to change setups uh, multiple times today, or a day, uh, is available. and. Whereas years back, machines were running at very high speeds in order to produce the moldings. Today, the machines are very easily changed over from one, one style molding to another and also running at a higher speed than they did in the past. So all, all in all, the industry has evolved uh, to a much more automated, automated uh, industry. And I see that that's probably going to continue. And... Uh, I can't foresee what the next 50 years will bring, but even we used to dream of laser cutters and whatnot. Well, laser cutters are available today. And I have to admit, in thinking back, that was a bit of a dream back uh, 30, 40 years ago. I can just all of a sudden recall discussing that. that someday machines will, will be, use lasers, but uh, that is now a reality. So dream on, and we don't know just exactly what may be another 50 years, and not likely I'm going to be here to tell you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter.